My name is Kevin Coffey, and I work with Dr. Mark West. He has an electrophysiology and cocaine self-administration laboratory. We work with rats uh, who actively self-administer cocaine. They use either a lever press or a, a vertical head movement, and that's how they self-administer. I designed an experiment to test whether cocaine self-administration becomes habitual over extended use. In the literature and in many programs like 12-step, habitual behavior is key to substance abuse. And so my honors thesis uh, was looking into whether rats developed habitual behavior over extended cocaine use. The honors thesis program at Rutgers is, uh, is very nice because as a psychology student you can graduate with an honors uh, in psychology without having to go through the SAS honors program. It's a little more interesting. You do a, a research uh, project with a PI here at Rutgers and uh, through your research project, uh, a thesis and a poster presentation, you're awarded an honors degree in psychology. I began my career at Rutgers as a computer science student. I took a few classes that I didn't think I would like, but turned out that uh, psychology was very, very interesting to me. And uh, a professor, Dr. Mark West, uh, taught a physiological psychology class that uh, really had everything in it that I was interested in, uh, computer science, engineering, the brain, and so I asked him if he had positions available in a lab, and he did, and research went from there. I didn't know exactly what kind of research he was doing. I just knew I, I really liked him, and I really liked the class. And uh, I asked him about his research, and it turned out to be in substance abuse, um, which was something I was already interested in. So uh, it has it's been a very nice experience. The results of my thesis have been very surprising. Um, it seems that self-administration is a goal-directed behavior, always, not a habit. The human literature, 12-step uh, programs, everyone likes to assume that substance abuse is a disorder of habit. You've lost control over your actions. But what it seems is that the rats are very aware of their actions and are responding specifically to attain a, a very specific drug level on cocaine and they're not responding uh, habitually or without regards to the consequences of their actions. My research experience at Rutgers uh, has been probably the most important thing I've done at Rutgers. Um, I want to continue uh, in a career in research, so having undergraduate research experience and understanding the time and energy it takes to complete experiments and especially behavioral research with rats. It takes a very long time and so my undergraduate research has prepared me for a future career in research. I've had a fantastic experience with my graduate students. They're all interested in motivating and mentoring as opposed to just having a student's data mine. They're very hands-on with us and uh, I've learned everything from animal surgery to things I didn't think I would learn as an undergraduate. Anyone who's interested in science and has a little background in engineering or computer science, behavioral animal research at Rutgers is a fantastic way to get involved with research, with um, generating knowledge. It's a really great experience. Mm -hmm.